hello guys welcome to another video of techies on the go so in the previous video we have deployed a spring boot application with mysql in that we have done is we have deployed a mysql container first and then by linking this mysql container we will be deploying a spring boot application so it is much more time consuming and a lot of tasks in so involved we can minimize this task by just deploying this application the spring boot and mysql linking them within with the help of a single command so how that is done is using a docker compose a docker compose is a tool for uh, running multiple container applications with the help of a yml configuration file so in the configuration file we will be mentioning what all containers we need and how what what all things we need to link so with a single command we can create and start all our services that is present in our configuration that is the basic idea of a docker compose in order to start we need a spring boot application that i already have made a single spring boot application i'll be providing the github url in the description below so it has a one controller and um, a single post request controller is there so we will be creating a docker compose file inside this root folder so we can create that in the new file we can name this docker compose sorry compose dot yml file so we will be creating that so i already have a configuration with me so i will paste that and we'll go through the each command so the first command and this is a version that is a docker compose version so you can refer the uh, docker website for the versions available so what we need first is we need two things one is that a mysql service and other is the spring boot application so for that first thing we will need we need a mysql is a service for it so we will um, declare service and we will give a name mysql standalone which will be the container name and image image is uh, as in the previous video we told you uh, from where we are getting the image image will be getter from the docker hub repository so i am using a mysql with the version 5.7 and this environment environment tag is used for this environment properties as you can see this mysql root password is there mysql password is there mysql database name is there so we have given all this or oh, mysql password is not necessary if you are if you don't have any other uses we can just directly use this root password as of now and then the port that we are going to ex expose so from the container 3306 we are linking 3307 from the from our local port so we are linking that so this will helps to deploy a mysql service and then we need is a spring boot docker container so we'll giving the name like that and we will be specifying the image name image name should be the same that is specified in a docker file okay and we will be exposing the port so i am linking that 8080 to 8080 itself in the local port and we will be giving the environmental properties here so we need a for the database connection we need a data source url username and password so as you can see we will be might be giving it in the application yaml itself so we can provide it to will override this configuration with whatever in the application yaml so we will be specifying mysql standalone which will be the host name that is a container name we have given here and the port and demo that is our database name and we will be giving spring data source username and password so uh, please note how this and variable names are given so usually in the application properties file we will be giving spring in the uh, and inside that spring data source url we will be here we will be using an underscore for that and the build context so where it going to be built it is in the root folder itself and the docker file docker file you know i have in the previous exam video also we have explained about what is a docker file and we have gone through that so i just show you the docker file here here we have this open jdk that is a dependency and uh, from where we need to take the jar 
which port we need to ex expose and the entry point so if you want a detailed explanation i will be providing the link to the previous video we can just check out that mm, and uh, we'll be mentioning the docker file name here and depends on mysql standard also depend on means uh, we can provide the service if you have any other service depend on this my uh, spring boot application we can provide the, that also here so this should be the same as what we are providing here so that is the content of the docker compose file so when we are executing this it will first create this service and it will then deploy this uh, spring boot application and we can just check whether it is getting successful or not so in order to run a uh, this docker compose file we need we have the command docker compose usually uh, in the previous if you are running the docker file we will be using docker command only for here we need docker compose space minus f and we will be specifying the file name that is docker compose.yaml and up so it will make the application up and running so let's see what will be happening so it is creating a network so, so there will be a network for communication with the service creating a spring boot docker standalone okay so it is start creating the container so you can see mysql container is it is building and starting and now the spring boot application is also starting now we can check whether it is getting successful or not just trying to access the database i guess so yes we got some error i think let's see the application is getting built to successful or not then we will check the error So it is trying to connect the database the application is actually initialized in 8080 port and it could not create a database connection so this is the main problem is with uh, while creating the service we have mentioned a demo database there it will be created but there will not be any tables inside that demo database so that might be the issue it is causing so we can just check what all containers are listing here now so docker container ls so we can see that spring boot docker container is there and uh, mysql 5.7 this is what we have deployed that is a image okay so we will get into this mysql image and check whether anything is present on it and we can find the root cause if uh, that is that if the table is not present that might be the cause of that error so in order to do that uh, in the previous also we have get in the mysql container so we'll be using docker execute minus minus it and we'll be giving this docker container id copy that paste and we will be going to bin slash bash So we are getting to this bash and here from here we will get into mysql minus u root minus p and the database name is demo we'll give the password and we have get into the this demo database the database is there but show tables so nothing is there so we need to create the tables there so i will paste the query to create the table so we have the table is login table and we will be entering that so it is created and now we will insert one data insert into login values one comma test username and test So we will check select 
star from login so we have one data inserters now just check whether it is deployed or not so we have used the port is local host 8080 okay slash demo so local host slash zero we will check the swagger that is attached so yes i think it is successfully deployed that spring boot application just check whether we will be able to access the test so we have a post request here we will be getting the test and we will hit it yes hello test we got the response and this 200 so if we are entering a value something yes username not found so it is working and up and running so it is as simple as that we can simply just deploy with a one command we we just need this docker compose file that is to be configured uh, if we were using that docker file and we will be directly deploying this application we have a very lengthy process first we need to deploy this mysql application then we need to have the spring boot application linking this mysql so here we can do simply with a single command docker compose up and if we want to put all get all this down like whatever services and application we have deployed if we want to get our applications down or delete uh, these containers we can simply do that or we will exit from this exit sorry exit so in order to do that we will be using the same command docker compose minus f and file name is docker compose and down we'll hit enter and see yeah this we are stopping the spring boot docker container and then the service mysql standalone service you can see the status there uh, one is down and we are waiting for the other is down and service and network everything network is the one which is which is providing the link that is the internal network so everything is down and we can check the container list now docker container ls so as you say the uh, those two containers are gone now the problem we faced is uh, while deploying a spring mysql container we didn't have a data initially so what if we need that data to be persistent what if that data needs to be in a place uh, even if the container is down so how we will persist the data that i will be explaining in the next video any queries related to this docker compose you can uh, ping me on the comments i'll be answering them thank you